Scott, something you said in Transcend was mm. it is precisely when the foundational structure of the self is shaken that we are in the best position to pursue new opportunities in our mm. lives. And Scott, mm. I would love if you could speak to that. And then Stephen, if you could speak to the way in which the foundational structure of the self is changed in flow and, and, and what impact that may have outside of flow experiences on you know personality mm. or a trait rather than state changes. But Scott, we'll start with you. Wow, what great questions. Well, what you're kind of referencing is linked to post-traumatic growth and, and that, that mm -hmm. field. So, yeah. you know, we have these kind of seismic earthquakes, psychological earthquakes, where our, our assumptions about the way the world works has been found foundationally violated in, in many different kinds of ways that can be possible, where we, we thought the world was safe, you know, and then things happen to us. Or, we, you know, with COVID, we thought, oh, could you ever imagine a world where you couldn't just be free walking outside without a mask. And now we're always like, oh, did I bring my mask with me? <laughs> you know, I would call that a psychological seismic earthquake. Usually in those kinds of moments though, there is an opportunity for growth. There, you know, we often treat it as though, oh, well, the old is gone. So therefore what good could possibly come out of this? But actually um, there can be a very, very strong shifting in priorities and um, newfound sense of purpose and, and meaning and connection with others in, in lots of very meaningful ways. Um, so yeah, that, that, what you mentioned there is a very strong link to the field of post-traumatic growth. Hmm. So I think that Scott, I, I, I have to agree with Scott. I think that any time the self gets shaken, right, and you're forced to have a different perspective on yourself than, than normal, that's where growth emerges, right? Where the self vanishes, the self gets foundationally yes. shaken. What's really interesting about flow to me is that is a very good definite. I mean, the self dissolves in flow, right? You're getting outside the self and you're, and what's interesting to me is we know that flow over time increases empathy and it increases ecological awareness, all, all these sort of things that would lead one towards transcendent self-actualization. But, you know, if flow was instant self-awareness and instant enlightenment, years ago, somebody pointed out like every surfer would be a Buddha. That's not the case. So, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one. just because you're having a flow right. experience and you're getting outside the self doesn't mean you're growing, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing with psychedelic experiences. You can have psychedelic, you can go to parties and do psychedelics all the time and watch your consciousness explode and just be wanting to get laid, right? Mm -hmm. You're not like using it as a personal growth tool. You're using it to fulfill, you know, basic needs. Um, no judgment here, fine. I have no problem with that, no, but no you're not doing the work towards self-actualization in, in the way we think about it. So I don't think flow or any of these transcendent experiences where you get outside the self yeah. guarantee growth. I think that's the, that makes it very, it's a hell of a lot easier, right? When you're so tucked inside your shit, at least for me, when I'm so tucked inside my shit and you know, everything's going on, I can barely get outside my head, let alone get kind of broken open the way that you need to, to really sort of get the distance from the self for growth. You know, that's sort of how I think about it. I do think that there's a real deep wisdom there behind what you said in that the flow state comes along with it almost necessarily a less of a focus on self. And that's what makes it a self-transcendent experience. That's what puts it on the continuum. I mean, I do see flow is on that continuum of the, I call it actually the unitary continuum. Um, you can increase uh, a sense of unity with what you're working on, but you can then start to expand that and increase your sense of unity. Like I said earlier to the, the, the grandiose um, uh, mystical experience where you feel one with, with everything, the universe.